Okay, so what we've got set up is kind of a transition modulation drill. So what I mean by modulating transitions is learning how to keep the pace, right, and shoot kind of a, at a cadence or utilize cadence for these two closer targets that are about seven yards to us. Um, as you can see, I've got an outside target that's got about 50% of the A zone exposed. The other 50% is completely occluded by the no shoot. I've got an open target that's wide open. So like typically how we would address that would be bam, 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 bam. What I want you to focus on is being able to keep the same throttle, or not the same throttle control, but the same transitional speed or four shot cadence for these two targets. And then immediately being able to, of course, to, to kind of modulate the transitional speed down as needed as we go from these two closer targets to these two farther targets. And as you can see, the, the two farther targets, these close targets are about seven to eight yards away. These far targets are about 12 to 15 yards away and they're wide open, but they're a much wider transition. So the goal of this exercise is to be able to kind of stay on the gas or learn how to, um, to, to kind of utilize cadence to drive, to, to, to draw your eyes and drive the gun from one close target to the next close target, regardless of what close target might have a no shoot or what might be a partial target or otherwise and be able to kind of stay on the gas on those, but then also how to stay on the gas transitionally, but then modulate your speed to each particular farther target. So what, what, what I'm trying to get or, or try to, uh, like the, the goal of this is to try to make everything sound bop, 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 right? So I don't want to have bop, 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 bop. I don't want those two, I don't want those differences in, in throttle modulation. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set my timer up to just record everything. So I've got everything basically set to record. I'm going to go ahead and drive, draw in, rack the gun back. I'm going to have the gun in my hands. I'm not going to worry about a draw. It's ridiculous to even think about or worry about a draw. What I'm trying to do with the drill like this is just have the gun up and learn how to kind of, again, to modulate that transition from one target to another target, easy target to a difficult target, and then from an easy array to a little bit more difficult or wider array. So here we go. We're letting it record. Gun is out and I'm going to fire four shots or eight shots total. Okay, so we're going to go with kind of a starting cadence. Okay, so recording the time as we go back in and look at this, we got to disregard the first shot because the first shot doesn't mean anything. Okay, it was 9.8 seconds because I'm talking, right? So we got a 0.35 split. We have a 0.44 transition followed by a 0.20 split. So notice all three of those numbers, none of those three numbers actually match, right? There's no modulation there at all. Everything is just, I'm individualizing each separate component. And that's where we're leaving a lot of a lot of meat on the bone, so to speak, when it comes to time on a stage, because we are we're, we're basically addressing every single target as its own individual target instead of addressing the array. Then we've got shot six is a 0.71 transition, which is the transition from this close target to that far target, and then I've got followed up with a 0.43 split, followed by a 0.57 transition. And then lastly, a 0 0.40 split. So my splits were, were more prioritized than the transition was, and I left a lot of time on the transitions. Okay, so now I'm going to shoot this again, only now I'm going to try to address the, the targets the way I've explained it. So I'm going to address these four as four consecutive shots, bang, 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 bang. And then I'm going to address the next four as four consecutive shots and try to focus on the transitions and the splits matching those farther, wider transitions as well. So we'll go back to the start again. Make sure I've got uh, eight rounds in the gun, and I do. So here we go again. We're going to let it record. And here we go. So you can hear the difference in the cadence, right? So as we go back and record this now and look at it, we've got uh, about a 2.05 second reaction to the beep, right? Again, the draw is not the goal here, but I've got a 28, a 32, and a 25 splits and transitions. So the splits and transitions on these four target, on these two targets here, these four shots are just about theoretically the same. 
there's a separation of about a point, what is that, 0 0.06, right? So six hundredths of a second separating our splits and transitions. Then our next transition, it went from a 0 0.7, I focused on continually getting the gun moving to the next target, and I dropped that from a 0.7 to a 0.49 transition to that far target. Second shot on the far target was a 0.44. So now my split on that target matches the initial transition time, followed by a 0.46 transition, and then lastly a 0.44 split. So I've got four shots that are nice and aggressive and at the same pace regardless of the actual difficulty of the target. So we kind of move this camera up here. Right, and again, this is just an old used target. So I've got my four initial hits there. Those are four alphas and four alphas, right? So the splits and transitions were the same. Then my transition here, everything just settled in. The transition from this close target to this farther target is what kind of, kind of dictates the pace for everything else that we're gonna do. So my first one was an Alpha Charlie. My second string was an Alpha Charlie as well. And then following the transitions the same. First string, I was just focusing on the split where these two outside Charlies, these two much closer Charlies, of course, as I'm still just trying to, to drive the speed of, kind of drive the speed or the goal of the drill, I let, I let accuracy kind of take just a back seat for a moment, right? So I'm pushing the speed or I'm really focusing on the transitional, like the, the transitional goals. Then I'm going to put the accuracy in it and then focus on the accuracy thereafter once I get the transitions down to what, I, what I'm trying to achieve. Does that make sense?